Madison police are also dealing with more car thefts this year and more items being stolen from them too. From 2016 to 2019, at least 24 guns were stolen, reported stolen from cars each year in Madison. One year as high as 43. Well, you see in 2020, that number jumped to 90. So far this year, more guns have been stolen from vehicles than in all of 2019, with 15 last month alone. Madeline O'Neill has more on data from police showing cars are about the worst place you can keep a gun. Oh, it's a fun job. I enjoy coming to work every day. I get to bring my dog. Well, Brett Finkhauser and Olive can be pretty easygoing. It's a pretty laid-back atmosphere. They take a hard stance when it comes to security. Where the guns are, there's bars, there's a steel door, you know, then there's alarms. Finkhauser is a longtime manager here at Deerfield Pistol and Archery Center, where they sell these lock boxes keep and offer advice to keep guns safe. There it goes. That's open and available to anyone. And keep your guns secure, right? Don't leave your gun in your car. Your car is not secure. Tethers like these can keep lock boxes and guns um, more safe in a car. But at the end of the day, Finkhauser says a gun is less likely to be stolen when you're carrying it or have it secured at home. You know, I think it's very, very dangerous. Madison Police Chief Sean Barnes calls firearm thefts from cars a crime of opportunity. More available during the pandemic, with people not leaving as often to notice anything suspicious. People just get lucky uh, during break-ins and they look for weapons in places where weapons may be, whether it's a dresser drawer or a glove compartment or underneath the seat of a car. In Madison, data shows the majority of reported firearms stolen, about 78% since 2016, came out of cars. That is a very uh, serious concern. Dane County District Attorney Ishmael Ozan says based on referrals in the county, it's kids who are often breaking into cars and stealing things. That also means that, you know, these guns, these firearms are being now put in the hands of juveniles. Um, and, and that's really a recipe for disaster. We read through all available MPD reports of firearms stolen from autos so far this year. Most left the gun under a car seat, in the glove box, or the center console. Cars make horrible gun safes. One victim reports he locks his car, quote, 99 out of 100 times, but must have forgotten. Rarely were guns returned. Even more rarely were the culprits found. In one report, the stolen gun was recovered in Chicago used to commit another crime. Once the gun's out there, it's out there, and, and obviously the people that steal it are not the people you want to have your gun. One final reminder from Fankhauser. Even when your gun isn't in your grasp, the responsibility to keep it safe is still in your hands. And be responsible with it. When it gets stolen and it goes in the hands of people that aren't that and they use them to hurt somebody, and then if you ever find out that it's your gun that did it, you know, that's going to be a, a weight on your mind. That's our Madeline O'Neill reporting. The recent data we got might still change because the police department is behind in typing up reports. Chief Barnes expects the trend of firearm thefts from vehicles to decline as we return to some sense of normalcy after the pandemic.